Tonight, gripping video of the moment two women trapped inside a capsized houseboat were rescued Friday morning in Florida. Oh, my God. That boat. Look at that thing. is going to capsize, too. Video acquired by our NBC affiliate WJHG shows the moment boy Jordan jumped off a fishing boat without hesitation to help rescue the women trapped inside the houseboat, which served as a shop out in the sandbar. I jumped off the boat I was on into the water uh, and then grabbed a two by four, uh, ripped the two by four off the structure and um, smashed in the window. Uh, the first window pane, it's a sliding glass door they were trapped behind. Boyd says just minutes before, the women and another friend were towing the floating shop when an unusual storm took them by surprise. I mean, we were very blindsided. Uh, from the time that we knew that there was going to be a storm coming to the time that people were walking out of the water, was probably less than 20 minutes. Travis Brady was in a fishing boat with two of his friends near the marina off the Gulf Coast of Panama City and saw Jordan jump into action. He, without hesitation, was just in the water helping those people. Moments later, Brady and his friends taking action themselves, trying to get close enough to those in the water to provide support. We will. We'll catch it. Debris flying around them, their own boat needing to operate through severe weather. Within 15 minutes, we were in, you know, five foot, six foot waves. Boyd says the waves made it impossible for everyone to climb on board to Brady's boat, forcing his friends to swim to shore while he made it on board to rescue his own fishing boat before it crashed into the seawall. It restores your faith in humanity, makes you really reflect on the things that are important in life. I'm going to try not to get emotional, but... um. It was just, it was an intense moment. What could have ended in tragedy, avoided, thanks to selfless quick thinking and a group effort in response to Mother Nature. And Boyd also telling us all of this happened about 300 yards from the shore. Uh, he added that the two women and his friend made their way to a nearby sandbar where they were able to stand in water and then make their way to safety to shore. Uh, all of this, of course, a reminder of how fast conditions can change when operating in water. Aaron. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.